and use that a 4 one two. We're still sticking with the sandy season here, driving the nail home, countersinking, puttying and durathoning the floor, the threshing floor, amen, of the Christ. Newsletter 4, 1, 2. They thought they were wise, but they were fools. They thought they were wise, but they were fools. And so, this week, brethren, as we move into the new year, 20th, 1st, 2008, this week I want to mention, number one, about the newsletter in, in association with the newsletter, Mary and the Eucharist. Uh, Roman Catholic priest, just, just to give you sort of a bit of a bearing how far off they are. A Roman Catholic priest was ministering on the Eucharist the other day and I was watching on and uh, very disappointed as per usual and he mentioned that the Roman Catholics, or well he suggested it from his mouth that they worship Mary with all their heart, soul and mind. But I find that after reading scripture for 20 years that was uh, specifically said in the new covenant to be about Jesus. Uh, The man, this Roman Catholic priest lifted up the host lifted up the host uh, in the Eucharistic time they have, lifted up the host and asked the people to pray as they do per usually and uh, at that time they call the Eucharist time and he said we pray as he held the the host we pray that God relating to Father will receive our sacrifice today now when you sit down and think about that now listen if Jesus was not our sacrifice you listening right we didn't offer him, Father offered him. Jesus was Father's offering. And he actually received the offering of his son's blood and body before it was even offered. <laughs> because he's God is omniscient. Can you say amen? He knew it would be accomplished before Jesus said it's finished Father knew it was finished Amen? Yes so two major blunders again we continue to go on don't we week after week after week and without even any effort finding falsity, heresy and um, lies in the teachings of religions of men I won't go any further into that. Once again, I'll repeat what I said initially. Claiming to be wise, they became fools. And we are fools not to listen to the doctrine of Christ and the Christ. We're going to the entree today, brethren. Those watching by DVD and Worldwide Web, listening by CD. Uh, I hope that this year is going to be a year for everyone outside the gate eh? bearing the reproach of the Christ so we're drawing nearer to the uh, Australian Australia Day celebrations and an Australian uh, of the Year award and I noticed that uh, the, that false teacher and false prophet Danny Nelly is at it again one of the um, swimming champions or surf champions, um, um, Mrs. Kenny, has made a nomination for uh, Mr. Nullia to be Australian of the Year. Well, look, when I look in the scriptures and I don't see any apostle or prophet or pastor or teacher or evangelist um, hankering for. Uh, Jew of the Year or Israeli of the Year awards or you know Best Dad of the Year award or or Peacemakers award or Business of the Year award Hard Worker of the Year award and 
you know, we've got all sorts of businesses advertising one particular car yard I know of in Ipswich advertise themselves, they sell Volkswagen and and Mazda and advertise themselves as people of integrity and service and and uh, reliability. Well, I had a dealing with them. I had a dealing with this company, and they're not reliable, and they're not people of integrity, and they're not uh, people of service. So what is that? So I'm only one. But they have these things on the television, don't they? A bit like the Crisco mob, you know? We're the ones that are going to save you a lot of trouble. Well, 2007 Sandy season showed us that uh, Crisco uh, weren't living up to their claims either, were they? Had people along the run everywhere looking for their tucker, <laughs> looking for their soft drink in their hams. I tell you what, that's not of the lamb, is it? No, no, it's not of the lamb. And we got all sorts of awards going out. It's a sign of the time, going out in schools, going out, you know, peace awards and this award. I've always seen, look, the biggest thugs in town get the peace awards. You know, in the schools, you know, they get the uh, intellect award. They're the dumbest thing around. It's all the wrong people. And they think that this is going to, this is going to make for, you know, making people feel welcome and wanted and part of the furniture and all this sort of thing. There's only one way any human, I don't care if it's a child or a youth or a man or a woman, there's only one way in the scriptures say we're going to feel and we're going to know and we're going to perceive and we're going to be able to accept ourselves and that's if we shake off our sin. We go to Jesus and repent. Okay? You won't need awards to feel like someone or be someone. Or they say, but if you got awards and once you're, you know, you get the Nobel Peace Prize, or that, that'll open a door for you then to minister. Oh, what's wrong with God opening doors? Can't he open a door yet? I know that my Jesus, <laughs> he can open doors that no one can open. No man and no award. I believe that. I See, I believe the scriptures. That's the difference between me and most church leaders in this country. I believe the scriptures. I don't believe you have to sell the word of God, put a price tag on the back. That's not faith. That's not belief in the, in the faith or the God of the faith, Yahweh. I believe in God. I, I really do. I, I believe that, that David wasn't hankering for, you know... Uh, Sheep Dog of the Year Award or whatever. He, he wasn't. He wasn't looking for, you know, Babysitter of the Year or Lamb Sitter. He had a few sheep in the paddock, but God knew where he was, and God opened a door that no man can close, and no woman can close, and no devil or demon can close. And that's what I believe. In His due time, He'll open the door appropriate for each individual you won't have to work your way around to it <laughs> give the best offering yet give the best offering yet and the door will open 300 ways how to get the door to open oh, I'd, I'd rather just follow Jesus every single door that's to open for me will open automatically, instamatically can you say amen oh, consecutively too so we don't have to be advertising that we're nominated. He's already qualified me. I just walk ye in it. Okay? How desperate can you get? I mean, that's desperate, isn't it? As my wife would say, that's uh, LOA at its best. Lack of attention. Okay? Lack of attention. Wanting the world to open doors for you so you can preach a God of another world's message. It doesn't, doesn't add up there, does it? God's got a message. Yahweh's got a message. And he is quite able to open every door he wants open for that message to go out. You believe that? You can say Amen. So we don't want to be beggars to the world. We don't want to be tying ourselves to lukewarm 
uh, has been swimmers or has been you know uh, lifesavers or has been tennis players they're all has been I'm not interested in has beens I'm interested in ours <laughs> as resurrected ones now uh, those who are <laughs> You either are the children of God or you are not. Not as has been. Oh, I have been. Once upon a time I walked with Jesus. Look, once upon a time Lucifer served Jesus. Satan served Jesus. To, you know, well, Lucifer served Jesus to the place where he didn't want to serve anymore, did he? He wanted to take over. And then he became Satan, didn't he? And the Lord said, there you go. Out you go. Go on. Get out of here. <laughs> 